Hello, I've been a little sick this past week, so we're going to make this video while my voice is deeper. Enjoy it while it lasts. Black Adam is not a great film. I wouldn't even call it average, but it wasn't completely horrible. It was just kind of... meh. But since the competition consists of absolute slop or unyielding drivel, meh counts as a positive review these days. If Black Adam was released 20 years ago, it would be unanimously shamed and forgotten. The criticisms start at the top, with The Rock himself. He's typically a man who exudes entertaining, no-nonsense charisma, but it seems he decided to throw all that personality out the window for this one, in favor of acting as dynamic as a pile of bricks. His tone remains consistent throughout. It doesn't matter if he's telling a joke or making a threat. He delivers every line, monotone, and deadpan. He's also meant to be playing a pseudo-Middle Eastern character, but while his co-stars carry distinct accents, he chose to deliver his lines in bog-standard plain English. English, an acting choice that becomes awkward when his character is meant to be the champion of his country's people. On the plus side, his physique is one of the greatest superhero builds the world has ever seen, since he basically doubles his size every decade. He looks like he could punch someone through a building, and that shouldn't go understated, since many actors these days aren't willing to put in the work. Alongside Black Adam, we get a large cast of colorful characters, such as Hawkman. He's a bird that loses every fight he gets involved in, and boy, he sure gets involved in a lot of fights. We also have Dr. Fate, who to many was the breakout character of this film, being the most interesting and well-rounded character. Though his powers and abilities seemed a bit too convoluted for a side character to have, and it may come off as confusing to those who aren't familiar with his comic book background, a whole film could have been dedicated towards explaining who he is. Unfortunately, we probably won't be getting that. Next up we have The Boy, who definitely isn't a John Connor surrogate, and alongside him is his mother, and for some reason they get to follow the heroes around everywhere, while she explains the film's themes to the audience with the subtlety of a fire hose. Then there's the bad guy. He wants to do bad guy things. There's also the haha -ha man, which means he will do or say something annoying every time he shows up. And lastly, we have the wind girl, whose character and powers would be neat if the CG artist didn't bury her in vomit colors every time she did anything. Speaking of, the effects in this film were quite rancid to say the least. They try to do the quicksilver slow motion scene but this film just looks embarrassing when you compare it to the original. The effects look cheap, stiff, cartoon-like, and sloppy for most of the film, and since this film relies heavily on CGI, that is saying a lot. These issues get amplified when you learn that the editing for this film is a disaster. It is this film's worst aspect. The pacing suffers, because instead of letting deeper character moments breathe, every scene is cut to bits. A simple walking scene will have more cuts in them than Liam Neeson climbing a fence. But forget about scenes, even basic sentences will get chopped up and spliced together with very obvious separate takes. It's like it was edited by a YouTube vlogger. All right, guys. It's really a shame, too, because I didn't expect much walking into this film, but I thought that at least the fight scenes would surely be good. The Rock typically excels at those. However, due to the reasons stated earlier, even those fell flat. Each battle consists of PlayStation 2 looking goobers bonking into each other with a zillion cuts every second. As far as the story goes, it's relatively shallow, but still competent enough to get the job done, having some unique twists and turns along the way. The basic idea is that Black Adam was an ancient champion for his people before being put to rest for several millennia until getting revived in the present day. Though he's not your typical hero, in fact he behaves more like a villain, only to those who threaten his people. It's a fun concept, and one that The Rock should be able to pull off very well. Only, the writers don't really commit to the bit here. Adam is built up as a villain to anyone who trespasses, with the theme being that sometimes it's necessary to get dark with your enemies. However, Adam's actions don't necessarily line up with those words. Sure, he kills his enemies, but aside from that, his arc is that he learns to play nice with others, and he refuses to rule with an iron fist when given the opportunity. These are generally good arcs for hero stories, but this isn't a hero story. We came
came here to see this guy break the rules and take no mercy, not to follow the beats of Terminator 2. And this is a problem with most villain-based movies. The writers work too hard to make their characters sympathetic and appealing, while forgetting that these people are meant to be the evil ones. Though it seems like it doesn't matter too much in Black Adam's case, since there are apparently zero plans for him to cross paths with Shazam. You know, that one guy that he's an evil mirror version of? Though I can't be too upset about that, since Zachary Levi Shazam movies look lame as hell. I'm an idiot. So I guess we'll just have to roll out the next best thing. And I suppose that's a good enough reason to go and see the next one. Hopefully it doesn't take another 10 years to put together. As far as this current one goes, it's interesting enough to see once, but that's about it. I wouldn't highly endorse it, but I would still encourage people to go out and form their own opinions. That's about it for now. I just wanted to give my brief thoughts since I saw the film, but I won't do a full breakdown. One, because this movie isn't interesting enough. And two, there are other bigger things already in the works. Now excuse me while I go drink some water. <laughs>